Hi, my name is Christian Ogenfus, and in this video, we're going to talk about the 10 study hacks to help you study smarter, not harder, in preparation for your wine exam. Studying for a major wine exam can be overwhelming. The sheer amount of information that you need to memorize and internalize can be staggering. These 10 study hacks are sure to have you better prepared for success. If you're like most people who study for a wine exam, you probably read the material, take some notes, and then cram the night before the exam. And we know this is just not a path to success. Don't worry, Napa Valley Wine Academy is here to help. Now let's look at the 10 scientifically proven ways to help you attack studying in a strategic manner. Ditch cramming. Let's face it, cramming just doesn't work. The tendency with cramming is to rely on familiarity of a subject rather than truly knowing the material. Familiarity of a subject and truly knowing a subject are worlds apart. The problem is that familiarity is bad at predicting whether you can recall something. So let's continue on to our next tip. Stop forgetting. The best way to do this is to use space repetition. The one and done approach to studying unfortunately just does not work. Your memory fades within 24 hours of studying something new. So the first time you're studying something new or you hear a lecture, make sure you review the material within 24 hours to prevent yourself from forgetting up to 80% of what you've learned. Furthermore, try and make studying the subject a daily task, even if it's for as short as 15 to 20 minutes. Just as in sports, the more regularly you train, the better your performance. Active recall is king. The best way to learn material is not by reading it and rereading it. This only leads to familiarity, not understanding. Instead, use the active recall method. Close the book or your notes and recite everything you can remember on the subject. This helps cement long-term memorization. So speak it. Speak it out loud instead of simply reading it. Although this may make you look a little crazy, give it a go. You might be surprised at how much more you can remember when you've said it out loud. Write it out. Put those third grade penmanship lessons to good use. Research suggests we store information more securely when we write it out by hand than when we type it. So skip the keyboard and pick up that pen. When you're studying or listening to a lecture, take notes by hand. The next day, recopy the most important notes from a previous day onto a new sheet of paper. Or better yet, create some flashcards from your notes. The more you do this, the more you'll remember and memorize the information. The two-stack method. Flashcards are a good example of using active recall and using the two-stack method is the best way to cement your learning. What is the two-stack method you ask? Well basically it's a way of organizing your flashcards into two stacks. Put the flashcards you answered correctly into one stack and the ones you answered incorrectly into a separate stack. Once you have run through all the cards and have two stacks, Put the stack with the incorrectly answered cards on top and the correctly answered cards on the bottom. Now run through the process again, placing the cards into two stacks once more. Repeat this process until you can comfortably answer all the cards correctly and only have one stack. Draw maps and diagrams. Drawing maps and diagrams will help you to visualize information that would otherwise be hard to describe. This is a great way to master wine geography or production processes. Think of the wine region of Bordeaux, or the winemaking process of Madeira, for example. These are two concepts that are best illustrated by drawing a map or a diagram. This creates a visual memory in your mind which can be recalled more easily in an exam. Mind mapping. Create mental associations. The ability to make connections is not only an easier way to remember information, but it's the fuel of creativity and intelligence. Mind maps are an easy way to connect ideas by creating a visual overview of the different connections. Mind mapping increases your creativity and productivity because it's an excellent tool to let you generate more ideas, identify relationships among different data and information, and effectively improve your memory and retention. Teach what you've practiced, or in other words, teach what you've learned. The best way to test if you really understand something is try to teach it to someone else. Teaching requires us to organize and explain material, which just happens to be two of the most important aspects of understanding. If you can't get anyone to listen to you explain the growth cycle of a grapevine, hey, why not try to teach it to a class of empty wine bottles? 
Practice, practice, practice. You often see athletes practicing under race conditions on a course that they will be competing on later. As a student of wine, you should do the same. Practicing under testing conditions with sample exams can help train your brain to retrieve information you need much easier later on. We even encourage you to write your own exam questions. Write exam questions after having reviewed material or a section of your studies, and then keep them aside for the mock exam later on. Hit the pillow. In the days leading up to the big exam, make an effort to get those eight to nine hours of sleep so that sleep deprivation doesn't undo the hard work you've put in. Maybe you'll even start dreaming about, I don't know, the AOC hierarchy of Burgundy or the quality levels of the German Predikatsvines.